Technology is corrupting us. Technology is evil. We are playing God by creating machines, but we are not God. Demon. Good morning, Brookhaven. Coming from the station is Kim reporting, and we have some breaking news. Now, we all have been familiarized with the new artificial intelligence car. Standing as a personal assistant, whether as a phone, smartwatch, or many other devices. Although just being the help we needed to organize our daily plans. Series of recordings have concluded that the new AI is not as stable and safe as expected. Many personal information has been released due to multiple. Rising concerns about the artificial intelligence. Is it safe to input our personal information into this robot that we don't even know the name of? This is this tends to plague plague smart people. Um, they just can't. They, they define themselves by their intelligence, and they they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them. So they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. It's the wishful thinking uh, situation. Um, I'm really quite close to, but I'm very close to, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. I, I'm not normally an advocate of regulation and oversight. I, I mean, I think one should generally go on the side of minimizing those things. But this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. And therefore, there needs to be a public body that um, has insight and then oversight on it to confirm that everyone is uh, developing AI safely. Uh, this is extremely important. Um, I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. How should Christians think about artificial intelligence? Should we be hesitant to embrace attempts to replicate human cognitive functions in machines? Well, yes. Uh, you know, one of the scariest things we have going on here is that the technology, what's called artificial intelligence, is, is fast outstripping any boundaries, any set of rules, any kind of moral expectation. So even the folks in Silicon Valley, who, by the way, are investing untold billions of dollars right now in artificial intelligence because they see it as the way of the future, even they honestly have no idea where this is going to take us. They will never be safe for our children. Conspiracy theories of AIs taking over our planet and taking our jobs has been going on, and I think it's already been going on. Thousands of people are losing their jobs. So many ignore the actual question. What are we gonna do about it?
know who is behind that personal AI of yours. No one. Absolutely no one. Technology, what's called artificial intelligence, is, is fast outstripping any boundaries, any set of rules, any kind of moral expectation. What if the device that your child has was hacked? How would your child be safe? Since they're all around us, it's so easy to commit crimes and get away with it. Anyone can sell information, and no one will know. So I'm not worried about, you really can't imply morality in this, such as you know, artificial intelligence that turns uh, evil. It would be uh, artificial intelligence that becomes nothing more than a malevolent force uh, which is set loose and uh, frankly can't be controlled. So yeah, there's some huge, huge issues here. Good evening, the race riots in Los Angeles dominate tonight's 10 Eyewitness News. Five people so far have been killed and more than 100 injured as riots, looting and arson sweep across the city. An orgy of violence that's already been going 12 hours. Los Angeles Mayor Tom Bradley this afternoon declared a state of emergency the dusk to dawn curfew. California Governor Pete Wilson called out the National Guard. The first of more than 150 fires was lit only moments after the verdict was announced. Another thing that has been going on in the media is that the artificial intelligence are now being turned into humanoids and have been dispatched to multiple homes to assist. And there have been theories and rumors about the government being made out of the artificial intelligence just because of how they bypass the laws and the restrictions. One of them is the attempt to create something that's a hybrid of human and artificial intelligence. And, and by the way, any artificial intelligence is not going to be totally artificial because it's going to be inexplicable apart from a human being or a team of human beings who brought it about. It scares the hell out of me. They're already all around us. Imagine human versions of them right beside us and as unable to tell if they're human. 